but hello and welcome back to the channel everyone right uh, we are back out on the bass hunt again uh, this time we're fishing the Anglesey beach mark uh, I've invited down my mate Barry who lives locally here uh, we're giving the bus, uh, bus a go this evening uh, fishing near uh, I think about three hours after high tide now so we're gonna fish it down to low on the neap tide today four meter tide so see how we go um, literally rod been, been in the water a couple of minutes first cast and uh, I've got my first Anglesey bass of the year uh, I'll put that video on the, after this intro I didn't have time to put the camera up or anything like that just literally cast it out and uh, fish on right just baiting up my uh, just preparing the rig at the moment to cast that again using my usual rig if you watch my bass videos I'm going to use my uh, one up one down uh, two upper rigs with a t-knot um, same again just 3-0 bottom 3-0 circle on top as a panel 40 pound fluorocarbon one up one down bottom chase slightly longer than the top chase 9 out of 10 bass goes for the top chase so I'll keep the top chase pretty short so I'll get this baited up hopefully get a second class bass I didn't even set my uh, second rod out yet so get this one out and uh, maybe set the other rod up see how the fishing goes I've got a um, fresh to pump low look uh, not got many but Luckily Barry's been out digging so he's got about 80 worms and I've got some razor clams and uh, squid and a sand eel. The chance of um, turbots here, I'm not sure, it might be a bit too early in the year and a uh, small dry base. Uh, usual doggy, maybe some whiting about, who knows. But um, ideal conditions, suddenly wind. It's decent a bit of a uh, swell out there. All I've done is just uh, pretty shallow at the moment because we're fishing the uh, ebbing tide. Just uh, waded out about knee deep and a cast into that first breakers in front or behind it. What it does to pass bus go chase um, bait fish there and it's the shell fish. That's where they usually bass feed is. Anyway, get this rig up, rig up. and uh, hopefully get a couple more bass this evening. There you go guys, first silver bar of the evening, didn't even have a chance to do an intro for the video, um, literally first cast, two minutes in the water, boom, only lightly hook, I'm not sure how clearly you can see but it's top of the nose there, here literally holding on and uh, looks like we're gonna have uh, fun with the weed as well this evening, loads of weed out there massive weed pile on top of, top of the tips now so get this one back and uh, get back out there again well uh, looks like we're gonna have fun with this weed loads of weed about not sure if you can see the rod tip there big pile of weed on the on the line and uh, just got the other rods ready as well to cast out same again this is a two in one rig i call it one up one down um bass trays on the top top one low look bottom trays same as the first rig but um this one's got one all aberdeen with the razor clam on it a couple of beads and a four ounce grip on it but uh, yeah, it's very really bad weed out there after the storm, uh, well, last week before loads of weeding. But um, I'm gonna have a quick look around there. Uh, 
to the right, see if what's it like down there. Because this part of the beach is quite weedy, usually. And uh, get that rock back in. Look at that bouncing. Big pile of weed on it. Quite lucky to land the first pass with all that weed on it. I had to drag it, drag it back because of the weed uh, stuck in the tip, uh, tip of the rod. I right, get this uh, bait out now. This one's a four on bait, uh, inefficient of air. On a light, high, 5,000 spin uh, reel on here. 20 pound bait, 40 pound leader. This over, overhead thump, get into that first breakers. Hopefully get a couple more bass out tonight. Um, first bass measured uh, 45 centimeters, uh, so I'm back okay. It was only like the hook on top of the nose. Yeah, not looking good at the moment with all that weed, but hopefully it'll clear off soon. Well, let's stay tuned, everyone. Get back to you if we get uh, any more bass out. This is what we're dealing with at the moment. Awful stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, rain started as well. It wasn't forecast rain this morning when I checked the weather but the rain belting down as well looks like it's gonna rain all night about midnight now uh, low tide is quarter to two and uh, see how long we can cope with this horrible reed lucky to land that first fish like I said but um, get this cleaned off and uh, get a fresh bait out a vicious stock guys definitely need it tonight with these conditions Second bus of the uh, of the night. This time, it took a razor razor fish, razor clamp, uh, caught on the circle nicely on a top lip, uh, top lip. There we go. That was the bait. Like I mentioned before, he went for the top chase. I missed the cracking bite before as well. Um, it was on the razor again on that miss bite so I thought uh, put the razor on the top chase if any bass about it will take it and it did uh, pretty much similar size a uh, bit, bit more meat on this but I'm not keeping any bass today so all going back I get this one back fish are feeding now yeah you get them uh, get them bites every pass now so Get a, get a bait out there. I was sorting my other rod again. Just like nightmare. Sometimes fishing for bass. Maybe I should start fishing with one rod. You keep missing the bites. Anyway, get this one up back on uh, back in and uh, fight another day. Better get him bigger. This time, it was on the bottom trays with the worm. Uh, blow look with the beads on that. What a fight on the any fish in our forum bait. Cracking, cracking fight. Yeah, definitely biggest of the night. Uh, give it a measure and it send it back. Hopefully, get a, a bigger one. We still got a chance and the weed cleared enough of it so things are looking good again. Get in. There we 
we've got another bus guys, fourth one on the steel wheel. What a bite though. Crotching bite. He's talking to Baz then next to my rod. And the rod gun just like doubled up. Uh, it was only a tiny one. But uh good to see that out there. Get it on it and get it some back guys. Probably the last guy's going in now. And uh body on the blank still. He had to catch a fish. He's fishing right next to me. And uh he didn't even get by yet. Um coming coming to a low tide now, about 20 minutes to low. So get one more bait out and uh we'll call it a night I think getting late, nearly near a half past one in the morning. But I'll stay tuned guys. Get back to you if you get anything. If not I'll get back to you with the outro. Right, that's it for the night guys. That's it, the time to call it a night. Not a bad little session. Fish three hours off the head. Uh, managed four bass. Biggest was 50 centimeters. No monsters, but still good fun. But my mate Barry, he's blanked. And uh, he wants to head back home. Uh, getting a bit late now. About coming up to like two o'clock in the morning. Pretty much slack water now. Yeah, uh, not a bad few hours on the beach. Uh, condition was a bit tough. Loads of weed, rain coming down. But, uh, I did all right, fortunately. Probably didn't get in a single bite. Funny old game this is. He's literally fishing right next to me. He using one of my uh, bass rigs as well. Is what it is with the fishing as you know but uh enjoyable good to see you buddy good to see you mate Ho hope the video turned out all right um conditions big difficult windy and uh, loads of weed and uh, rain so Hope you enjoyed it guys, if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and uh, don't forget to give us a like and a leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you. Stay tuned for more, uh, there will be more bass videos coming up and a uh, few more sort of uh, Norway videos uh, will be uploaded soon. Thanks for watching, see you in a bit.